Okie dokie. Have some great U substitution examples here in 316G. We have three examples. Let's jump into them. U substitution. We are picking the U that is in parentheses, potentially being acted on by some other piece. So 3 over x squared plus 1 is our U. We find DU. What might help in finding the derivative of U is rewriting our, our U as 3 over, uh, so if it's 3 over x squared, it becomes 3x to the negative 2. So this exponent, when uh, the x term is brought from the denominator to the numerator, becomes negative. Now we use the power rule. Negative 2 times 3 is negative 6. We leave the x, we subtract the exponent by 1 to get negative 3. And then the plus 1 goes to 0. We tack on dx. We might want to rewrite x to the negative 3 as dividing by x to the positive 3. And then, like usual, we solve for dx by dividing by this, negative 6 over x cubed, which means we are multiplying by the reciprocal. So multiplying by the reciprocal will give us x cubed over negative 6 du. All right, so we have dx, we have u, and now we rewrite the integral as best we can. Leaving terms that don't have clear substitutions yet, so like negative 24, the x cubed on the bottom will stay for the time being, and we have our original you know, u being raised to the third. So u cubed, and then the dx on the end we cannot forget to sub in x cubed du over negative 6. All right, so we plugged in what we needed to. And now what should happen is the x cubes should cancel, leaving us with only constants and u's and du's. So we have negative 24 over negative 6 will equal 4. And then we have just remaining, so I'll pull the 4 outside the integral. On the inside, we have u cubed and du remaining. So it's just u cubed. And we rewrote this whole integral to look like this. That's pretty cool. So now antiderivative, keep the 4, add 1 to the exponent, divide by whatever the new exponent is, and we have this. 4 divided by 4 cancels. We are just left with u to the 4th. Instead of u to the 4th, let's plug u or 3 over x squared plus 1 back in place of u. 3 over x squared plus 1 to the 4th. Evaluated now from 2 to 4, the bounds. So we plug in the upper bound first, then the lower bound. So let's go ahead and just do this in Desmos. Don't want to waste much more time. So plugging in the upper boundary first, we have 3, and let me put this in parentheses, 3 over x squared. So plugging in 4, we have 3 over 4 squared, plus 1, close that off, and we're raising that to the 4th. That's our 4 evaluation. Now we subtract the same thing, but with 2 plugged in. So we have 3 over 2 squared, plus 1 raised to the fourth, we get negative 7.39. Looks like option B, negative 7.4. All right, let's jump to the next example. We're picking U to be the expression that's inside parentheses being acted on by something else. Likely, 2x cubed plus 1. We find du, the derivative of 2x cubed plus 1. We get 6x squared. We tack on dx. We solve for dx by dividing by 6x squared. We rewrite the original integral. 2 to 4. 2 to 4. We can keep the negative 60 over x squared, or sorry, negative 60 times x squared for the time being, all over u squared. And then we have the dx, that is 
down here we have du over 6x squared. Conveniently, because we have done this correctly, we have x squared canceling out, and then we gather our coefficients. Negative 60 divided by 6 is negative 10. So I'll just pull that to the outside of the integral from 2 to 4, and what's left? We have uh, just a du on top and then u squared on the bottom. So basically, it's like 1 over u squared du. Just like when we find derivatives of functions that have x terms in the bottom, it will help to rewrite 1 over u squared as u to the negative 2 when we find its antiderivative. So we keep the negative 10, then the antiderivative, we add 1 to the exponent, negative 2 plus 1 is negative 1. We divide by that new exponent, negative 1. So now, negative 10 divided by negative 1 is just positive 10. So we have positive 10, u to the negative 1, which could be written as u to the first in the denominator. So we have 10 over u, and that should be equal to 10 over, what was our u? 2x cubed plus 1. Evaluating from 2 to 4. All right, so we want to plug in the, come on, we want to plug in the 4 first, and then the 2, and then subtract the 2. So, let's give it a go. We have 10 divided by 2 times 4 cubed plus 1, and then minus 10 over 2 times 2 cubed plus 1, and we get negative 0 0.5, 0 0.51, looks like option D, let's break out the eraser to see that D is our answer. Alright, let's do one more example, a little bit friendlier here, a little bit nicer to us in terms of picking U, we have U should be the x squared term. So 5x squared plus 1. So the x squared expression, I suppose. We take its derivative to get 10x, tack on dx. Solve for dx by dividing by 10x. Sub in what we know for u and dx. So 2 to 4 leave the 20x, in place of 5x squared plus 1, we have u. And then in place of the dx, we have du over 10x. We can cancel x's, gather the coefficients, 20 divided by 10 is 2. Integral from 2 to 4, all we have left is u and du. So we have u to the first, basically. So when we find its antiderivative, we leave the 2, we add 1 to the exponent, and we divide by whatever that new exponent is. So 2u squared over 2, 2 cancels with 2, we're just left with u squared. But u squared is not u squared, it's really 5x squared plus 1 squared. So we have this evaluated from 2 to 4. Let's see if we can do this by hand. I doubt it. We'll see, well, let's see how far we can go. Plugging in 4, we get 5 times 4 squared. 5 times 16 is, I want to say 80. Yeah, we'll go with that. We'll do 80 plus 1, so we get 81 all squared. That's the 4 evaluation. Now minus, let's plug in 2. 5 times 2 squared. 5 times 4 is 20 plus 1, 21 squared. So we have 81 squared minus 21 squared. And we get 6120 as our final answer. Looks like option D. We break out the eraser to see that D is our final answer. If you have any questions on any of these U sub problems, please let me know. 
any questions on picking you, how to identify what my you is, things like that. This stuff is not easy. Please don't be put down. These are very challenging problems. They take some practice in identifying you, uh, finding DU, uh, subbing everything back in, canceling the X's. It's a long process. There's a lot of room for error. So please don't be put down if you know it's it's not fully clicking or uh, just you're messing up or something. It just it takes so much practice. Um, and so I just hope these videos help even a little bit. So if you have any questions on them, please let me know. All right.